here at Cactus Bowl for the title match of today's JBT event. Nerve Racker in the scratch division. Harley Swigert's already won game one from Nick Devlin, and he's got a 230 pace going on an absolutely brutal batter. And Nick Devlin is the top seed going in, but he is behind the eight ball right now. But he catches a double there in the sixth and seventh to stay alive. These uh, ASU teammates just go round and round with all the titles. If Harley wins, it'll be his 10th, matching Devlin's 10 and Russ Oviatt's titles. Oh! While uh, Russ is off with his uh, 21 and over teammates, showing the world how good these guys are right now up in Vegas. Pretty much needs this to stay alive. If Nick can win this match, they would go straight to a one-shot roll-off. He likes it. Oh, and he gets the light hit to tickle. One of our toughest patterns of the year, of any year, was a minus uh, 94 cut today in the stretch division and a minus 123 cut in this handicap division. There's something wrong with that pin. Yeah, I got it. Uh, indicative of how easy the link was yesterday. So everybody's handicaps went down and then they hit a hard pattern and. Uh, Chaos ensued. <laughs> Very impressive of Adrania, who's had the highest handicap decrease of any bowler yesterday, to make it to quite possibly the title match. He's bowling the semifinals against Chad Alexander right now. Swigert's string ends at four at a seventh in which he converts. Nerve racker is always nerve wracking. He had to win a nerve racker to get by Cortez Schenk in the first round, eight to seven in the tiebreaker. And Harley's eight came first, so he really dodged a bullet there. Then he had a two-frame nerve racker against Dallas Leung. They both tied in the first round, and then it was 10 to eight in the second round. So just like a Red Rock when he had bowled in Super Survivor, we started calling him a bad cold over there because he just wouldn't go away. He is still a bad cold because he's still just not going away. Now Chad Alexander is about to go away because he keeps going nine miss here, unfortunately for him. He wanted badly to defend his title, which he won here at Cactus last year, the only title of his career. No, oh, he hardly smacks that seventh in around. Nick very much alive in this match, though. The ninth and tenth will tell the stories. He's working on a triple. Needs two more to tie it up. And uh, three in a row to take the lead. And that one in a row is a tall task today. Hard to swing one bag. It is. One baggers were a award score today. In the night, got a hook. Oh, he does get it a hook. I don't know how he got it off that spot right there. That was the three count spot. That was a gutter ball spot. <laughs> today. Uh, somehow we got it to peel and carry the light hit. Game on. Even at this point he's forced Harley to mark and that is no gimme kids. There is no gimme on the lane. Uh, Drani's got a win by a 12 and as it stands he leads by oh, 30 some odds. So he's in good shape there. Nick's 10th frame. Uh, oh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh. That was a 210 that somehow the 10 fall, and I don't know how the two, the, the pin, when a pin goes seven degrees off its axis, it was a weird set of pin action. The pin tilts seven degrees, it must fall, and that must have been about five and three quarters. They're very close to getting the break of his day, to say the least. Instead, it's just a two pin, but he has forced Harley to mark. I think. One nine seven. 217? No, he didn't. Oh, he, did he have an earlier open? Oh, Devlin had, Devlin had an open that I didn't see earlier, so he just forced a high count out of Harley. Well, there's the shot he won on the first ball in the 10th. And his body language tells the story. He would give anything to get that first ball back right there. Tough competitor, not satisfied with himself right there. Harley needs to keep it on the lane to sweep the weekend. Harley has kept it on the line, and Harley has struck, and Harley has swept the weekend. Wow. Hottest bowler in tour right now. Three in a row titles. 
puts him only halfway to Dallas Leong's new consecutive titles record. Credit to Dallas, showing how incredible that is. Fellow ASU teammate Matt Zweig finished in fourth today. <laughs> all of all of Tempe is proud of Matt Zweig finishing in fourth today. But uh, how about this guy on some kind of roll? You got to when they're easy, you got to strike. He outstruck everybody yesterday. When they're tough, you got to spare. He out grinded everybody today. Extremely impressive to back to back on two polar opposite patterns. Achoo! 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 The bad cold. The virus. Achoo! Will not go away. Great job out of Nick, though. So it's a three-way tie at ASU at ten titles each. Nick rolls his eyes. He's not. <laughs> Nick has a job in his head. He ends the day. What's that? Not many. Four, three, four. So Matt Adrania wins the semifinal match over Chad there. Good run by Chad. So there's going to be Adrania going for back to back titles. The rare double double sweep. Can it happen? Oh, it would be the triple sweep because Vanessa swept the girls today, too. We're going for the triple sweep coming up. Rest on this Italian dish's shoulders. Stay tuned. I just called. I didn't really mean that. Well, I sort of meant that. Goodbye.